Okay, today we're learning how to make short videos using the script. I've been using the script for a while now, I have been making my shorts with it and I'm getting pretty fast with it and I'm not even a fast video editor, so keep that in mind and consider how fast this happens as I go through the entire process in front of you. Step number one, we create a new project and we import the file. All right, we are transcribing and we're putting this on full screen. We don't care about the speaker name because you only have the one, right? We make this a little bit bigger and we have to kind of wait for this thing to transcribe. Now, part one of this is the rough cut, but before we get to the rough cut, I do a few things to the audio, so I'm just to make sure that it sounds good. I do a few things to the audio. We can see that the entire clip that I shot is a minute and 30 seconds. One thing that I make sure that I do while I'm shooting the shorts, I try to move around every single sentence and record every single sentence from a different angle. I also move the camera, so I add some camera movement in the filming instead of adding it in post every single time. That makes the edit faster. Now we have the full transcription, but let's fix the audio first. I do four things to the audio. First, the script has this thing called Studio Sound. It does clean up the audio a little bit. I don't use it at its full capacity because at its full capacity becomes a little bit overbearing and kind of destroys how my voice sounds. But I keep in mind, I record shorts on my phone. They tend to do way better on, on every single social network, so I just use my phone instead of my camera. That is why I need this cleanup, because I'm not using any of the professional mics that I typically use. Alright, so we add studio sound, I set it at 25%, set it to whatever sounds good to you. In different cases, this might work great at 100%. In some cases, you might not even want to have it. Then I add ducking. Ducking basically means that while I'm speaking, everything else is going to be lower and it says I put it at 25%. That means that every other noise while I'm speaking is going to be at 25%. Next, I'm going to add compression. I am too lazy to mess with the compressor setting, so I just use the classic voiceover. That works fine and I also add an equalizer and the equalizer I kind of went through all the presets and I really like the presence one and I also put this before the compression. How the script works is we get this text editor and instead of editing here down on the timeline it has the timeline tools I can cut and do a lot of things on the timeline but instead of doing them on the timeline we're going to do them in this text editor which is far easier. So this is part one the rough cut we're just removing everything extra and leaving only the parts that matter. Let's get through it real time. Here's how you can make money on the internet. All right, so here we have a pause. Let's see. In, three, in about 20 seconds. Okay, so here I mess up, we delete that. In about 20 seconds. Okay, this is fine. And I don't want this to start with a, uh, with an uppercase. This is important. I kind of fix the text as I go through it because this is going to be the subtitles later on as well. So it is important for it to look nice. Here, this is on a new line just because I had a cut, but I, I can delete the new line and get this sentence. Here's how you can make money on the internet. In about 20 seconds. We have a pause in the middle. We'll fix that in a second. Next. Step one, gather an audience. I like this, we'll fix this here and you can actually see the different hotkeys that I'm pressing on the bottom of the screen but basically I'm using just two of them. When I press X I get this dot and a comma and I can basically change the end of a sentence and when I click C I can edit this word and change it to a different word basically if the transcription didn't go well. Anyway let's see this here I it looks like I mess up here it seems like the end of step one so probably this is the the whole thing. Create some sort of content that gives value to other people. So that's the entire step one so I don't need the first half of a sentence I just delete that. We have step number two. Step number two. Build that audience up. Don't, don't. All right. I mess up here. I mess up here. And we have a full sentence here. Don't hurry to sell them things. So I'm keeping that. So we have gather, gather more, of, more and more of their trust. Okay. We have the more peep. This is probably not a full sentence. The more people trust you, the more they're going to be. The more they want to invest in you. The more they're going to be. The more. So this is two halves of, of a sentence. We'll combine them into one sentence. And then doesn't that necessarily, doesn't necessarily mean money, that means time and energy and we don't want to do likes and retweets because you know that's a Twitter thing. I'm currently spending a lot of time on Twitter. That means time and energy and that can translate to more likes and more and that can translate to more likes and shares of your content and that can translate to a big This kind of makes sense. We don't want that one. 
Step number three. Once you have an audience, you choose a model to monetize it. Nice. I don't have more text to this sentence, so I'm using that sentence. Pretty easy. You can either monetize using your free tools. Here I stumbled. You can either monetize it using free tools for your audience, like using YouTube videos or Spotify, or you can monetize with selling products. This is not in selling, this is it selling products. Selling products. Whatever. I say whatever twice, we don't want that, and we want to have a dot here. And this part here is unnecessary. Whichever way you choose, it doesn't matter once you have enough, once you have enough trust, and once you have enough trust. We don't need that part, I'm stumbling. And once you've gathered enough experience, so whatever you sell them is going to be... This is a new take. And once you have enough experience, so whatever you end up selling is going to be... And once you, and once you have enough... He, so here seems to be the final take and we can delete those because they're just bad takes and we have I hope this helps at the end. This is the rough cut. We basically cut down everything extra and we have a video that kind of makes sense and it's coherent. The problem right now is that this video is not very interesting to watch because there are a lot of gaps and a lot of waiting and moving around. So that's not great. So the next step is removing the gaps. Pretty simple. Now here's how that works in this script. Here we need to use the timeline, but it's not a very complicated process. We zoom in a little bit and you can just grab the beginning of a sentence and just drag it. And right now we don't have the gap at the beginning. Let's watch. Here, can make money on the internet. here we have in about 20 seconds with a massive gap. So let's just remove the gap and see what happens. Money on the internet in about 20 seconds. Cool. We have step one. Step one, gather an audience. audience. Create some sort of content that gives value to other people. And we just do this until we step number two. See here we have a little bit of a miss. Click, let's try again. Step number two. A little bit more. So see here I have this gap that I don't like. Gather more and more of their trust. We have a bread here, we don't want bread. The more people. So the idea in which short videos is to create them as tight as humanly possible. I don't really want to have any breads, I don't really, really want to have any dead space, but sometimes you might decide to use a pose for dramatic effect. Here I'm going to actually make a cut and you'll see why I'm doing that in a second. That means I have a bread here. That means time, mean money, that means time and energy. We remove that gap. Can translate to more likes and shares with your content and that can translate we remove the bread. And that can translate to a bigger audience. We have step three, which is the final one. Step number three, once you have an audience that is big enough. You can see I'm already anticipating those because I've done this a while. Enough, choose a model to monetize it. Cool. We remove this gap as well. You can either monetize it using free tools for your audience, like you audience, like using YouTube videos or audience, like using YouTube videos. It's just those two guys. Like using YouTube videos or Spotify. Or we have a bread here. Or you can monetize with selling products. We remove that part. You can also drag at the ends, which is something that you don't use as often, but it's sometimes useful. Using YouTube videos or Spotify. Using YouTube videos or Spotify. Or you can monetize with selling products. Using Let's see if we have a like here. Yes. Audience. Okay, I don't like how this sounds. We can use this like your audience, like using YouTube videos or Spotify or bread, remove that. Or you can monetize it with selling products. Whichever way you choose, it doesn't matter once you have enough. Another bread. Matter once you have enough trust. And once you have enough experience, so whatever you end up selling becomes actually good. Right, we have the I hope this helps. Good. I hope that helps. And remove the extra at the end. I hope that helps. Cool. This is the full cut. We have successfully removed half of the video and we are down to 46 seconds. This is a little bit long. I prefer making my shorts a little bit shorter, but I picked up the longest one that I shot to make sure that you have enough time to kind of see everything. So far, what we are doing is just playing around with the timeline here and reducing the gaps where we need them to and uh, just deleting and adjusting whatever we need here on, on the top to make sure that we're saying the right things. Step number four is the video template. I have created a template for my videos that kind of saves me a ton of time and it does a little bit of magic. So go to the templates when you open it up and if I turn on everything you can see I added the title, 
I added the top title here, I added the captions, I added special captions for the intro. I basically added a bunch of things at the same time. What the script uses is, is something called scenes. Scenes are like slides in Photoshop and they can kind of contain different things in them. For example, in this case, I only have one scene. The whole video is in one scene. I don't want that. This is too much video for one scene. So I'm going to create one extra scene here and more, more to come. But basically that kind of separates this first part of the video with the rest of the video. You can see that there is a line here and I can use this line to now take those captions, which are, you know, more animated and kind of put them only for the intro and I, they automatically snap and get the main captions, which are the captions that work for and leave them to be everywhere else. If we watch the video right now, we'll see something like this. Here's how you can make money on the internet in about 20 seconds. Step one, gather an audience. And you can see that the subtitles change, the style changes a little bit, and that kind of helps with people keeping attention to the actual video. Now, this here is already a usable video. We need to change the title, but I automated that as well. So we can just write it here and it, it will automatically populate anywhere. How to make money on the internet. And we'll add some sort of an icon. We'll, we'll use something with money and yeah, cash back sounds cool. Cool, actually I want, want the flying one money. Cool. And I also renamed the project with the exact same name to just make this a little bit easier. So resize the intro screen a tiny bit. And that's it. This is how the intro looks like right now after like a few minutes of work. Here's how you can make money on the internet in about 20 seconds. Step one, gather an audience. This is already looking very nice, but what I'm going to do is create a few other things to make it even more interesting to watch. First of all, we'll create some special treatment for the steps. We'll separate the steps into different scenes. So you can see step one, I want only this text to be in a scene, separated from everything else. This is going to be the title of step one and this is going to be the actual video after it. So three different scenes here. I'm going to make the exact same thing here. And this is the actual part. We have step number three. actual text and I want scenes here and here just to make my life easier. I've done this before, that's why I'm going that fast. In general, you want to add scenes if you want to put something on the entirety of a scene. So currently I created a scene here for step one because I want to manipulate this part of the video and I'll show you how. So currently we have step one. I have a template that is called B-roll screen. This is going to do this. It's going to add fancy subtitles and add example B-roll. I'll delete the B-roll. I also delete the subt subtitles because I don't need them. What I'm going to add instead is I have a different template for full screen captions. This is called text wall captions. And we need to move this forward. This is the background. The background is still here. It just moved. All right, step one. And now, now this looks far cooler. We have a cut to, to, to this screen. This screen is more interesting, more it's diff different than the actual video. So this is going to help people pay attention. And the only thing that I want to edit is, first of all, make the one with a capital letter. And yeah, step one. this is not going to work. So we have step one. Step one, gather an audience. And you can see that we start the video, Here's we go through the intro. In about 20 seconds. Step one, gather an audience. Create some sort of content. Now, when, when I say gather an audience, I can actually add a zoom in, but we'll do that in a second. We, we'll talk about creating some sort of content. When we get to step number two, actually let's edit this so it is step number one as well here. Step, step one, gather an audience. Here, when we get to step number two, we'll just copy that template and paste it. And you're going to get the exact same look. So you can see step We're number two. two. We didn't, we don't want this to say step number two. two. We want this to say step and then number two. Step number two, build that audience up. Don't hurry to sell them things. Gather more and more of their trust. The more people trust you, the more they want to invest. Let's put scenes here. I actually don't like this part anymore. I don't want to talk about likes and shares. I want to talk about time and energy because that's more precious than just likes. And we can also paste this template that we copied. So this thing, this scene, and we can paste it here. So we have step number three and we can do the same edit. So I select it and press C. C opens up this menu and I can edit the text however I like. So I just put step number three. Step number three, once you have an audience that is big enough, choose a model to move. Now we, we created the steps and we are actually looking very good right now. What I want to add to this thing is a few extra scenes with B-roll, like 
some stuff happening on the screen to kind of break up the pace because you can see here I have one, two, three, four, five different scenes with just my face and here I have six more so that's a little bit too much and I want to break this down a little bit. Whichever way you choose, you can either monetize it using free tools for... Yeah, I have a little bit of promos. Using free tools for your audience, like using YouTube videos or Spotify, or you can. All right. So when, when I'm talking about monetizing with free with free tools for your audience, I can create a scene here, and here I'm going to add some B-roll and. Here I have a template which is called B-roll screen, the same one that we used for the screen, but this time we're going to keep the B-roll. Now there is a little bit of a bug, so I need to kind of open this, then click replace media, and you see this immediately closed, and now I can basically pick B-roll. So I can say Mr. Beast, for example, but now this is going to end because, you know, we didn't put the B-roll that's long enough. We can add an extra one and we can do the same trick, replace media, let's add What's a cool podcast? I know Alex Ramosi has a cool podcast. Don't have that much stuff. No, let's go with Alex. Let's just write podcast, that would be easier. Let's see, Spotify podcast. King of Nerds. I'm not sure who that guy is, but it looks very cool, so why not? I think that this just replaced my B-roll. So when he pays the B-roll, it doesn't work as I want it to. So I will try doing something else. We copy this come here and we paste and we will we're going to replace media this is a bit clunky but not much we can do about it right now because and we need a salesman let's copy this again I'm basically putting this in a different scene because when I directly edit it it doesn't work properly <laughs> All right, and we're going to replace it with that guy because that looks super cool. And we're moving this here. So this is getting a little bit too much in terms of stuff happening. So I'm going to put this one a little bit of a gap and I'm going to slow the video down a little bit. So I'm going to put it at 0.6 speed. And by doing so, I can kind of fit this video here. Yeah, and I don't need to, to create like five other videos, which makes it so much easier. I'm going to slow this down a little bit too. 0.6 it as well and make sure it fits properly cool and mr beast can, will get slowed down as well yeah 0.6 and then we'll adjust it a little bit and we're good so i can see that cool now we visualized every single aspect of that which is very cool and we did so exactly in the beginning and this is like the craziest thing you're going to do in this software like the craziest thing is basically stacking <laughs> three different uh, gifs together like there is not much more to it uh, and that is kind of cool because this is so easy and so fast to, to, to create stuff and i'm going to add one more but i'm going to use this preset which is just the image here and we're going to put it right here so my eye stays somewhat visible and we're going to replace it in the very same way and let's see yeah in this saying trust me is perfect and i'm going to slow this down a ton because it's a very short clip uh, even 0.3 because i want this to, to linger for a second cool now we have stuff happening at every point that i kind of need now we want to do a few other things first of all zoom in and zoom outs after we say every single step we can do a manual zoom in again we just use the zooming preset that I have and I'm going to share that with you so that's going to be easy but you can see that after step one the camera will zoom in. Step one, gather an audience. There is a bug with zoom ins again this moves my text to the back for some reason. One, gather an audience. Create some sort of content. When we get to the next part I want to zoom out back again because I don't need this to be as zoomed in. Create some sort of content. Yeah and we move the text back to the front so we click on the text and then right click here and say set bring to font front and that moves the subtitles to the front so you can see this looks like this gather an audience create some sort of content that gives value to other people step number two build that audience. and we'll repeat the process with the zoom in and then the zoom out again for the other scenes here because we added the zoom in we can see the subtitles are missing we click on the subtitles we right click here and then we bring to front we click on the next scene click on the subtitles right click bring to front it's annoying, but it's far faster than anything else I've tried, so it's worth it. So we go. Build that audience up. Don't hurry to sell them things. Gather more and more of their trust. The more people trust you, the more they want to invest in you. And that doesn't necessarily mean money. That means time and energy. Here on time and energy, I actually want to add another zoom in because that's a very cool point and I want to highlight it. And I'll do the same trick of bringing this front. Doesn't necessarily mean 
money that means time and energy step number three once you have an audio okay this is great the audio is absolutely scuffed with the script but we're so close to the end so i don't think that would matter too much cool we add zoom in and zoom out again we are going to fix the subtitles once again and you can see here subtitles are invisible because they are just at the back behind my head then you have this b-roll screen and now we have this which is already animated so i don't need to, to animate it and here we have also anim an animation because of the fact that i'm moving the camera and you have i hope that helps which is not animated because the camera st stood still so i'm actually going to move this here and i'm zooming and this part i need to again reset to 1080 because it's zoomed in already you have enough experience when i'm saying becomes more valuable or oh, actually good that helps and i hope that helps i can add this here and i can actually add a different preset for the text just because i can and i will actually use a different caption which is called the text wall caption and that's it we successfully edited the full video finally the, the the last part is we have the name already i'll just export it to can you expand please to the desktop while this is exporting i will open up my notes up in that note i will add the title cool why write a description of a video in on youtube tiktok or instagram because it gets indexed in search once your video is on search you can get a lot of views from people finding your video and a lot of people choose to watch short videos when searching because they're faster to watch and they don't need to commit to 15 minutes to learn something simple one of my most popular videos is a short actually and i get more than 300 views per day from search so it's not a bad idea at all nice we now need hashtags. I really, really hate hashtags. So we're going to use ChatGPT to make it make them for us. So let's see, we have the hashtag generator and I'll just paste the description and this is going to do its magic and give me hashtags. How cool is that? Those are a little bit outdated, but they generally work. And I don't think the like hashtags are that terribly important. And let me just look at them. Those hashtags are fine. So basically what I'm going to do right now is Take this description, copy it and paste it in the description field of YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and upload there. By just going through those steps, you can create a video very, very fast. If I'm not recording, this process typically takes, takes me about 20 minutes. Right now it took about 40 minutes because I'm recording and this takes a little bit of extra time. But in general, for less than an hour, you can create one short piece of content. Do one of those every single day and in one year, you will have so much content that it would be unreasonable for you to not get any traction and any views. Give it a shot and see how your communication improves after doing this for a while. You'll find a link to the script in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so I'm going to get super rich by it, but you'll see it again. And this time I'm sure that I'm going to get super rich by sharing that link, probably, or not. It doesn't matter. You know how to make videos and that's far cooler. See the rules for success up there. Yeah, yeah, click it. Come on, you know you want it. You know you want to. It's going to be an amazing video. You don't want to miss out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 